Tanya Vance, good morning to you. Good morning. I'm sure it's not appealing to have national <laughs> exposure on television with you throwing up basically the entire time, but we want to point out that you are feeling better, but when you were in Thailand, you really were sick, right? Very dehydrated. And so was that the main cause of, of why you were so ill? It was the lack of water? Absolutely. I just, um, the camera didn't even reflect the number of times that I got sick, so I mean, I was just very dehydrated. And so was it the point that you could not find enough water or you just didn't feel well enough to drink it? Um, when I started, when I got sick, it was already at that point where it didn't matter if I had it or not, I didn't want it anymore. Mm -hmm. And so when you were voted off last night, mm -hmm. is it correct that you actually asked your other tribe members to vote you off? Um, I don't necessarily think that I asked because of course I wanted to win. I just more or less told them that I understood why they were voting for me and um, that I felt like I was the weakest link on the team right then and there. So, mm -hmm. And it was interesting because when you were selected last week to mm -hmm. this particular tribe, mm -hmm. you weren't necessarily that thrilled that this was the tribe you were going to be on because you felt like you were too young. Right. Right. Well, and the other team looked so much more athletic and, and you know, that I would have more in common with. But, um, you know, of course now I, I realized that I was on the, the best team. I saw a lot of smiles on your face last night on the show, even though mm -hmm. you weren't feeling well. Uh -huh. And that same thought went through my mind was, wow, it seems like Tanya really transformed from the first week of the show where she was unhappy. And mm -hmm. you were actually having a good time with these people. I had a great time. It was a great experience, a great group of people. So, Let's talk a little bit about the shelter that you had, because mm -hmm. in your particular tribe, it looks like you may have had a bit of an easier go <laughs> because you had this great cave. Describe that for me yeah. if you can. Cave was amazing. Um, you know, it was huge, there was plenty of room in it, and, um, you know, we just, we kept dry, and it was a lot cooler in the cave than actually, um, you know, being outside, so we avoided the direct heat, and it was just a great, a great thing for us. You've obviously seen the pictures of what the other tribe has endured with their shelter situation. Mm -hmm. So you consider yourself lucky to have uh, had the cave? Very lucky. The water source, now that's a different story, but the cave was a great thing. Let's talk a little bit about the critters. Okay. <laughs> that are in Thailand, in the yes. wild. Mm -hmm. Last night on the show, you spotted a, a monkey yeah. that was right near your camp. Right. Was that scary, exciting, or how would you describe it? Uh, the monkey was definitely exciting. Um, it, it, you know, we saw that monkey, you know, quite a bit. So it, oh, was, it was the same was, one. It was a little friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, kind of like a little yep. squirrel in your yard. Huh? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about other critters? Did you hear them at night? Definitely, definitely. A lot of rustling around, and uh, you. Um, just didn't know what was there. It was so dark, you couldn't see anything anyway. So that was the only thing that, that kept me from being really scared, is not being able to see what was out there. It was, it was kind so of a So you blessing. never knew what you were hearing? No. Uh -huh. No. Well, Tanya Vance, we're going to be back with you in just a moment. Okay. So stick around. All right. <laughs> and this is The Early Show on CBS. <laughs> Close immunity challenges on Survivor Thailand. The, the Suk Jai tribe, I think that's the right way to say Sounds that, good. <laughs> uh, remains intact while the weekend Chui Gan tribe has lost two of its members. Last night at Tribal Council, Ted, Helen, Jan, Gandia, Clay, and Brian cast their votes, making Tanya Vance, there it is, Tanya Vance, <laughs> the latest person kicked off the island. It's real nice to have an X over your face, isn't it, Tanya? <laughs> Very nice. That's the way we do it here. When you're out, you're out, okay? But you're here right now, and welcome back Thank to, the, you. to the round table here. Now, this is where it really gets dicey. Yeah, okay. it gets dicey here. <laughs> we, we ask you the really tough question. Okay. Well, Gretchen touched on this, but, but how does it feel as an athlete mm -hmm. to hear the, the words sweet but sickly said about you? <laughs> well, you know, I understood, and I didn't take it personally because Athletically, I don't think that I demonstrated to my team that I wasn't able to compete. Uh -huh. I just think I got so dehydrated, they were afraid that, you know, in future challenges, I wasn't going to be able to help them in the competition. Hey, Tanya, take me through the germ of the idea of when you said to yourself, I want to be on this show. Do you okay. remember when that, how that all happened? Absolutely. I love to watch the show. Ever since I started watching the first one, I thought, you know, I really want to do this. So. Um, just after watching the, the Africa one, I actually said, okay, I'm not going to wait around anymore. I'm just going to send in an application. And, you know, it's just, it's great to even just get to be on the show. So mm. They have your audition tape, yeah. too, by the way. We, we have yeah. to see yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah. left it for you guys. Uh, oh, and give me the opportunity to reveal myself to you. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. You didn't actually think I was going to be naked. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you. Directed by Steven Spielberg. Right. Right? Right. Was that your idea? Or was that? Do you have some help with that? I had some help with that. Bill Jones actually helped me with that. That's nice. Yeah. When did they yeah. actually tape the show? Um, back in June. June the well, mm. we left June the third, so around June the eleventh, I think. Yeah. Wow. Well, a lot of folks have parlayed this into other things, various uh -huh. things. Uh -huh. Where would you like to take this? You know, I don't, I don't really have any plans. Anything that comes my way, you know, I've, I'm blessed to even have gotten to be on the show. So I just take it one day at a time. So, so if Hollywood calls, you're okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Right. Play, how definitely. about Playboy? I'm sorry, I have to ask. And yeah, I don't know about that. I work with sexually abused children, so I don't think that that's a good idea. No. And what town are you from? Um, well, I grew up in Kingsport, Tennessee. I actually live now in Johnson City, Tennessee. Is that a big city? Um, pretty small, pretty small. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a lot smaller than Memphis, Tennessee. Yes, very. Yeah. Right. Bigger pretty... than Pigeon Forge. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah ab yes. around that population. Okay. <laughs> I'm a very close to Pigeon Forge, oh, okay. actually. It sounds like everybody in town had to sign this confidence. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, when you go over to Thailand, do mm -hmm. you go over with the other survivors, or did you go all that long distance on a flight by yourself? Um, you are on a flight with other survivor contestants. However, you're not talking to each other and you're not allowed to you know sit with each other you're, you're just kind of separated really mm -hmm. do they fly you coach or first class um coach oh, <laughs> oh, wow. those dogs oh, that is so cheap you couldn't even get a good meal going over before you got sick <laughs> no in fact a funny story is um the airplane food made me sick and um oh, i threw man. up on the airplane going, going, no going to thailand going yes. to thailand you yes, threw up in the airplane absolutely. what was it um, it was some kind of chicken, you know, who knows? <laughs> all right, did they, fly you, did they fly you back first class? Actually, yes, I did okay. come back first class. All right. Yeah. Now, now, is that normal or because you were so sick? Um, I think it's, well, my father died and I had to come oh, home. Sorry and, to hear this. Yeah, and so, yeah. The, you know, when they flew me home, I did go home first class. So. Oh, sorry to hear about yes, that. Definitely yeah. sorry to hear now, that, that just yeah. happened to coincide with when you were leaving the show? Oh, yes, geez. yeah. Actually, I had to, you know, leave a day early. I was in Thailand and oh. left a, a day early to come home. Mm. Oh, oh my goodness! So, yeah. Yeah. Well, you've had you've had more than just an illness to deal with. Yeah. You have. Okay. yeah. What have folks in your hometown said since you've been back? Anything? Oh, they're just ecstatic. You know, it's a small town girl. It's you know, it's pretty exciting for them to be able to watch. Of course, they're going to be disappointed today, but you know, it's you know, they're I'm still sure proud. I'm sure they're proud of you. Yeah.